what's up guys and welcome back to my channel my name is sneaky we're also known as mom and all and in this channel we're all about motherhood and thriving in it especially in our finances we are financially savvy we are financially lit in this channel so if that's your type of thing make sure that you click the subscribe button down below so in today's video i am going to be discussing the five different types of savings accounts that are available here in south africa and with each of the five different types of savings accounts available i'm also just going to mention how i utilize the savings accounts so the first type of savings account available is your normal transactional savings account basically this one you can have you have easy access to your money so you can use it anywhere anyhow i don't like to use this very much because there's limited um there's limited interest on it and because there's limited interest on it then i just don't see it as something that i want to use because obviously it means my money is not growing i might as well just use my check account but what i do use it for is for anything that maybe i want to separate from my check account like if maybe i've got people paying me for certain things that i'm doing and i think we've also played a stock failure on it with some family members of mine some other people would use this for their emergency funds which is great because obviously it means if maybe my tire would burst i would then use that account instead of my check account but i'll let you know why i don't use that account and what i use for my emergencies the second type of savings account available is a notice period account where you need to put in a specific notice before you can get your money the notice periods can differ from different banks and different accounts can be a week's notice before you can get your money or a month's notice before you can get your money and what i like about this is that obviously because you don't have easy access to the money it means that the banks can go and grow that money which then means you can actually get a higher interest on that so my one that i use specifically it's a 32 day account and as much and actually this is also where my emergency funds are kept you might ask yourself how then if you have an emergency do you need to wait 32 days no my one specifically it's 20 percent is available to me for use at any point in time but if i want to use an amount over and above the 20 percent that's available then i'll have to put in a notice account so because i always have this 20 percent available i don't see a need to keep money in that easy or transactional um savings account that i mentioned first so that's why i like to keep my emergency fund there so if my tire bursts then i will tap into my 32 day notice account but obviously i use the 20 percent portion that's not under notice this might not be easy for everyone because obviously it means that let's say the balance is a thousand rand on my 32 day notice account it means i only have access to 200 rands of it so that might not be much but obviously as the pot grows if let's say the balance on that account is ten thousand, it means i have two thousand rands for emergencies that i can use at any point in time so this account might not be beneficial for someone who maybe still has a smaller pool of money saved up that they want access to so you must check with your bank if you can have a portion of your amount available because if that's the case then you actually don't even need the first account that i mentioned to you earlier on unless maybe you have a business but one thing to note about this account is that obviously the bigger portion of your amount you have available to you the lower the interest rate is so if i have 20 percent available my interest rate is going to be lower than someone who has zero percent available because it means that the bank can basically utilize the whole hundred percent of that balance whereas with me they can only use 80 percent so they will give me a smaller interest rate but obviously this interest rate is still higher than the one where it's always open for you to use the third type of savings account available is a fixed term savings account or a fixed deposit and with this one specifically you deposit money and you're going to get it in six months time so this one is good if you have like a lump sum maybe someone paid you a bonus at work whatever lump sum that you have that you want to put away for a specific period and then you, or you specifically want to use maybe you're saving up for your wedding and you know that you'll start spending on your wedding expenses 
in a year's time or in six months time then you can use your fixed deposit account for that so it really helps with specific goals the good thing about a fixed deposit is that they tell you upfront how much you're gonna get at the end of six months or whatever period that you choose which is nice because you know exactly what's happened what's happening you're not affected by interest rates going up and down and we've seen now interest rates have been decreasing so in my 32 day account that i mentioned just now my interest rate has actually been decreasing but if i have a fixed deposit regardless of what happens if they quote me this is how much i'm gonna get at the end of six months that's the exact amount that i'm gonna get so that's the nice thing about a fixed deposit account and then the fourth type of savings account not necessarily a savings account with a bank but it would kind of be a money market account so you can get this with a financial institution including banks or any other financial provider you have easy access to it so because it's easy access obviously then it kind of can be treated as a savings account but obviously if you want it for longer term then this can basically also be used as um, an investment and not necessarily a savings account so a money market account so I use that specifically for saving for my kids I would just put in money every day i mean not every day i wish <laughs> i would put in money every month so that i know that my kids are sorted and i'm not too fast about the market fluctuations because i actually want to keep that for the longer terms so it is important to check out the fees with these my my one doesn't specifically have super high fees but obviously some some have high fees so you need to really be careful when you're spotting out which money market account you want to use the fifth and final type of savings account available is a tax-free savings account so the nice thing about a tax-free savings account obviously is that it is tax-free because <laughs> if you think about it all the other accounts that i've just mentioned their returns or their interest is subject to tax but obviously there's a tax exemption amount but specifically with the tax-free savings account you can just enjoy your returns without being taxed on them so I, the reason i mentioned the tax-free savings account last is that it is actually a longer best if you use it as a long-term kind of savings account so you can't put your money in a tax-free savings account and keep taking it out because there's a limited amount that you can deposit into your tax-free savings account and if you keep taking putting money in taking money out putting money in taking money out you use you utilizing the amount that you actually have available over your lifetime and actually there's even an annual amount as well which is 36,000 per year that you can put into your savings account the tax-free savings account so I actually want to do and will do a video on why a tax-free savings account might actually not be for you <laughs> because I'll see people sometimes even if you have no savings whatsoever and the first type of savings account is a tax-free savings account that is usually a bad idea and on my next video I will share exactly why a tax-free savings account might not be for you so how I utilize a saving tax-free savings account is I actually put money in there for the long haul I don't withdraw any of it it's not for emergencies it's not for trips overseas it's not for anything it's literally for the long term maybe when my kids are 18 and I don't know but it's for the long term I have no plans for the money right now and that's how it should be with the tax-free savings account because if you're gonna be utilizing the money then now then it, it defeats the whole purpose of the sa tax-free savings account but i'll mention all of this in my next video thank you so so much for tuning in guys i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know down below what types of savings account do you have did i miss any of them maybe i'm missing out on something major that i should be using to save so let me know and i will see you guys next time bye